Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing few tips which I have like realized of late because my skin has really turned very dry and sensitive. Now, whenever your skin is sensitive, it is mostly dry. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. I have been repeating throughout the last few videos that my skin is combination, but of late I've realized it is not combination, but it is dry. Just because you are getting pus filled acne doesn't mean that your skin is oily. It can also happen due to a damaged skin barrier and you don't have to get rid of your moisturizer which is like thick moisturizer so yeah that is what i am going to discuss in today's video realized after almost three months of using the skincare items which i am not necessary that you have to double cleanse which i always stress on even if you go to my instagram account i have always posted over there i have used up the cleansing balm also i have used up the neutrogena deep clean cleansing not going back to double cleansing anymore i love gentle cleanser for my skin and I have always seen that whenever I use any foaming cleanser on my face it gives me huge bumps the next day so I will obviously prefer cleanse me as you know I was a big fan of cleanse me but of late I am loving Cetaphil gentle cleanser this is almost empty and yes I had the Damaco uh, it is almost empty I am currently using the Damaco gentle cleanser and it is also very hydrating and not stripping and it is not affecting adversely my skin is doing perfectly fine now and I am not having bumps so I had used up some foaming cleanser in between and I was getting huge bumps that next day and yeah it obviously takes around a week to recover from those huge bumps I swear by gentle cleansers and I will never switch back to a foaming cleanser maybe second thing is obviously moisturize now initially i had used the four percent ceramide face cream from damaco i have repurchased it also and i really like this one and this is more towards the combination skin type so it is not ideal for the dry skin type it is more for the combination skin it's a good moisturizer the other moisturizer which i had is this phyto repair now this is also for very dry skin it is a bit greasy and that's why i don't like applying this especially during the summertime i am really avoid if you have matured skin if you have aging skin and if you especially above 40 you can definitely use this the present cream which i am using is bioderma atoderm cream i've been using this for one and a half months and it has almost come to this point and this is a very very good cream for dry skin because it is so like affordable it is like 5.99 and i am sure like it will last for more than three months because you just need a little bit of this cream and this is so hydrating this has really helped me recover from my dry patches recovered from my sensitive skin now it might be very greasy for you but i will give you a tip there is a lot of praise about ceramide cream and bioderma intensive balm is also a good cream but sometimes this gives me whiteheads and that is why i I'm preferring this over this nowadays and moreover in the summertime I think you don't need such a heavy moisturizer this is also heavy but not like this one you can go for a simple moisturizer which works for you next thing which I was mentioning earlier is I was using a nicotinamide based gel and that is a clindamycin phosphate and nicotinamide gel it was recommended to me by my dermatologist and this is the one which I was using and I have repurchased this and this was keeping my oiliness under control this is a NILAC gel this is a very soothing gel and it also keeps my acne under control because of the clindamycin phosphate and also due to nicotinamide which is niacinamide so this is around 4% niacinamide and 1% clindamycin phosphate but yeah you need not use this for longer terms because this has clindamycin phosphate it is antibacterial needs to be prescribed by a dermatologist the next ointment which you can go for is this acne x nicotinamide gel now this doesn't need a prescription because this contains niacinamide 4 percent aloe vera extract 5 percent salicylic acid 1 percent and some beer berry and calendula extracts which are like which is 1 percent so this is also a good cream a uh, good ointment to be used over your moisturizer if you want to keep your acne under control and also you need to moisturize your skin so these are the few options which you can go for i think neomax gel is another one which you can go for so these are like very cheap options in the market you can go for this rather than any serum but yes if you are fine with serum you can go for serums as well as well have always used waterproof sunscreens but nowadays I'm using like gel based sunscreens because 
I feel like um, I am at home most of the time. Obviously, sunscreen is important, no doubt. But we are like we were stressing so much on sunscreen. I think moisturizing your face is one definitely one of the most important point which you need to follow rather than sunscreen especially if you are from a dry region like me i am from bangalore it's quite dry some of the sunscreen recommendations which i have are like this one person hyaluronic sunscreen aqua gel from damaco then earth rhythm spf then this ap soft now when i whenever you are using this ap soft i don't feel you need to use a moisturizer underneath because this is a moisturizer itself so you don't have to need uh, like use a moisturizer also i am trying out this one now i will make a separate sunscreen video if you want for each of this and i will share it just comment down below if you want a detailed review i will definitely do and yeah the next is this one so i have got all of the sunscreen if you are suffering from hyperpigmentation uh, always apply azelaic acid this is my favorite like ointment for dark spot and also acne and i have always like supported azelaic acid on my channel before as well if you are from a dry and sensitive skin always apply a moisturizer then wait for 2 minutes and then apply the azelaic acid so avoid using a lot of products on your face so a lot of steps especially for sensitive skin i don't recommend so yeah that was all about the video and that was all about the things which i'm presently using and if you want any such video you can comment down below and i will definitely try to make videos on particular topics but this is my overall routine and i am using this thing so i thought of sharing it with all of you so yeah that was all about today's video i hope you found this video useful and if you have stayed until this point please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also you can like the video if you have come until this point so yeah see you in my next video pretty soon bye